Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to do another quick video uh, of the cart, the Lowe's uh, Coleman golf cart from Lowe's made by Candy. So I wanted to do another quick review on it, um, updated uh, how much stuff I've reviewed so far um, and how I had to return the cart. So <laughs> there's that. So this is actually my second cart from Lowe's. Um, I picked the first one up and did about 25 miles on it and um, <clears throat> until I couldn't get rid of a wobble shake that I had on it. I did a bunch of the, you know, discussion boards, see if anybody else had this issue, and they did. Um, so I checked multiple air pressure, um, did exactly what's required. I'll show you there, it's a 12 PSI in the front and 14 PSI in the rear. I put that exact pressure in it. Um, I changed it, I put 25, um, anywhere down to 10 PSI and it didn't go away. Uh, so I went up to Lowe's and I'd had the cart for like two weeks and I said, hey, let me let me drive another cart you have on the lot. Let me see if it, if it does the same thing. Then that's just how it is because it is lifted. I get that. And uh, if it doesn't do that, then obviously something's wrong. And of course, it didn't shake, the new one that I drove up there. Drove it in the back of the store. People were really awesome. Managers, the whole staff there at the Lutes, uh, <clears throat> Lutes in Tampa, Lowe's. And they said, hey, just you know, bring the other one back. It's only been two weeks and we'll just switch you out and give you a brand new one out of the back. And that's what they did. So the new one, new one rides great. Everything's fine. My guess is that it probably had, um, maybe it was tied down. You know, these are shipped over. They put a lot of ratchet straps all, probably all over the cart. Um, maybe something's wrong with one of the wheels or one of the, you know, <clears throat> something on the suspension and it was just causing it to do it. But this new one's great um, and no problem so far. So I wanted to go over real quick, um, so inspecting the cart, if you do plan on purchasing it and you want the one, um, I did say before the fit and finish is really good. I just think that there's nobody, it's not a golf cart store, it's Lowe's. So there's nobody really doing a full inspection on these carts. And um, I just wanna show you what you should look for if you go to purchase them, you know, to do a walk through the whole entire cart before you make your choice. Cause they're gonna have several on the lot and there'll be, you know, a couple that are you know, a little bit better than the other one. So I'll review that real quick. So what you want to do is do a full walkthrough of the cart and just, you're kind of doing inspection to make sure there's no scratches. Um, there's no chipping in the paint. Um, the carts, you know, it's got everything it needs. So we'll just do a quick one in the front um, that I noticed on my other cart that I had returned. So this front push bar, this thing's going to be painted black and then it's covered in like a rhino lining. So my other cart, there was some chip paint. So you just kind of want to inspect this area, inspect around on the paint, just make sure nothing's paint. This one's great, great shape, brand new. I mean, untouched, no chipping paint anywhere and looks really good. Uh, another thing there were some, you know, they use tie down straps to, so just make sure none of them scratch the edges, scratches the sides. Um, some of these metal postings on my other one were kind of scratched up. So you want to, you know, look these over, make sure those are all good, untouched. And, and mine looks pretty good. There's gonna be like some dripping of uh, some rust. There was some, um, I think that's just being in the rain. Uh, these are aluminum, these posts, but I think some of the screws that are used in this uh, top had some kind of like, I think some spacers or something, but that's fine. It cleaned up really easy, um, not a big deal. But this overall cart was perfect. This one didn't shake like the other one. Runs great and um, overall great cart. Okay, so there's two things that this cart's missing that the candy cart comes with, and I'll show you. Um, so this is standard. It has everything that, as you see it. It's got the AGM batteries, has the fold down windscreen, um, you know, the seats in the back, the lift, of course, suspension and all that other stuff. Um, the one thing it is missing, it's missing a basket on the front. So the basket has two mounting points, these bolts right here, and then these side bolts as well. And you can get this from the Coleman website. So I priced out and it, you can buy everything from that website individually. So it just doesn't have a basket kit. You actually have to buy, you know, the bolts for the front, the arms that hold the basket and the basket itself. And the other item and that it was, I think a total of something close to $300 for that front. And then the other one I think I showed in my display before is it has this flip down seat with a storage bin. So right now it's missing the basket for the cooler that goes down in here. The problem is, is it takes up this storage space in the back of the cart if you put this storage basket in. So 
I'm probably gonna keep this out because I wanna put a uh, Arctic 20 soft cooler in there. So if, if I put this storage bin cooler in here, I'm not gonna have space for that cooler. So I'm just gonna not get that. And this, this thing is 70 bucks for this piece of plastic that goes in here and I'm just gonna forgo it. The uh, candy cart comes with it standard. Here's a couple modifications I've already done. Uh, one, I did the front. So this piece of gray steel is already here in place. And then it has an uh, etched out black um, Coleman uh, logo that's etched in it. I basically, you know, I live in Tampa, Bucks fan. So I found a Bucks decal, took the Coleman thing off and matches really great with the seats. So it was a good turnout. And the other one, just real quick, this thing doesn't have a sound bar. You can get one. I mean, some of the sound bars, you know, you can mount them there, wire them in, look great, have LEDs. They're about $3.99. Um, just for the meantime, I mean, you have a USB port in the front and I mean, I put one of my, you know, JBL, you know, flip speakers fits perfectly in the cup holder, any of them. And it's got the little USB charger. So, I mean, it's got great sound and it's got a charging port. Don't have to worry about it. And those, those speakers are like 60, 70 bucks. So really cheap uh, way to get sound on your golf cart. That sounds really good. Just real quick. We're just going to do a test drive uh, of this cart. It's got a full charge right now. Quick test drive of this cart. I mean, it's got a full charge, 100%, um, and only eight miles on this cart so far. So, I mean, it's running at full full power. So, I mean, it's a fast, it's a 5,000 watt motor. Uh, so it seems like it's governed a little bit because it shoots up to 20 miles an hour as its top speed. But I mean, this thing with a mod or something can easily get to 25. I mean, it gets to, gets to 20 really quick. Yep, and then just, I mean, it, it's a pretty fast car. It gets to 20, easily do 25, I'm sure, if it's modded. Um, I don't have, I mean, I've got eight miles only on this car, and it's still at 100% uh, charge. So, I mean, has it gone down there? My other cart uh, was about at 25 miles and it was at 70%. Uh, still left, um, still the same power. Uh, the cart does, somebody was asking for hills and stuff. It did go down to with a couple people on it and a grade, you know, I'm in Florida, there's not a lot of hills, but uh, there is a grade uh, back in my neighborhood and it, it dropped it to about 19, was as fast as it would go up a, a grade. A great braking. I mean, it's got disc brakes in the front and a drum in the rear. Like I said before, the main competitor for this cart is, I'd say it's Icon. You know, it's, a, it's the most popular around here. And I'll just show you real quick why I chose this cart over the Icon. So from a looks con in a perspective, it looks just great. I mean, just like an Icon. It's got great LED lights all around, LED, you know, DRLs in the front, brights. I mean, it's got an extra light than an icon comes with. I mean, that's one thing, but a quick options is, I mean, they're both $10,000. Um, one is the main thing. I mean, this comes with AGM batteries, which is an upgrade for an icon. This one comes standard with it. So they're sealed. You don't have to put distilled water in them. And they both have the same display, same lights. This just has, you know, the AGM, it's got all the seat belts, they both have that, but then it's backed by its Lowe's, you know, their customer service, great, great company. Like I said, I had to take mine back after two weeks because of course we have an issue. They're all gonna have some type of little, you know, tweak with them, just happened with mine, but you know, Lowe's was great customer service, no problem, return the card, got one new, no questions asked. So great customer service. And I even called Coleman and asked them, you know, what should I do? And they had no problem, answered right away, had somebody, you know, contact me back with all their information and we're ready to help. So, I mean, great service level. I mean, you can't go wrong. So all around, good car. You can't really, it's hard to see the grade. Um, you know, like I said, we live in Florida, but this is a pretty good hill that goes up. Um, I'll go at full speed here. Like I said before, it drops down to about 19. I mean, it's a pretty decent size hill. Hard to kind of tell. But it bounces around 19, 20, 20, 19. Um,
Uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, I'm going to put some more out. I plan on doing a couple other mods to the cart. Probably a stereo, probably wheel spacers, but uh, thanks for paying attention and following.